Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If you can't tell, I'm in a different setting. Um, I'm in my bathroom, hence why my hair's wet still because I've just had a bath. But in today's video, I want to run you through my skincare routine. I only went shopping, so with being in the UK, um, all non-essential shops reopened on Monday the 12th, which also meant I could go back to work, which was great. So I went um, bank holiday weekend and I brought a few bits. A little bit disappointed, if I'm honest, because I was so like excited, I was so gassed to like finally go shopping, get some bits and bobs. And I think I spent less than £40. A little bit gutted about that, but at least <laughs> I didn't spend that much money. But I did buy some new skincare bits. So I'll probably show you my skin before, um, and then I'll keep you updated with how I am finding these products. So some of the products I already had, some of the products are new, so let's have a look. First step in skincare is obviously cleansing. So I've got two here, both from Simple. So the first one I use is the Micellar Water, um, just to remove my makeup, mainly from my eyes. It's great for getting rid of mascara um, and lipstick. That's mainly what I use this for. And then for my second cleanse, I use this Simple Moisturising Facial Wash. Really like this one. Um, I do have quite sensitive skin, so once I've removed my makeup, I can't really have you know, my skin's becoming exposed, can't really use a stripping cleanser. So this one, if you've got sensitive skin, is a really nice one. The Simple range is really lovely as well. All natural ingredients, so would, re would recommend this cleanser. So the cleansers I've just shown you, um, I've already had, but I'm now gonna go on to the new products, what I've brought. So these two products I saw, and the packaging straight away, how cute is the packaging? I love it and it's actually from Superdrug's own brand. So this one first, this is the Naturally Radiant Glow Soothing Face Cream. Um, it's also got prebiotic complex in it. This smells amazing. Absolutely love this. I've only used it a couple of times, obviously it's new. I'm gonna go through it again today, but I love it, can't go wrong. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. It's just really nice and it does leave you with a glow. Um, it obviously says glow there and it does, to be fair, leave you with a glow, which is really, really nice. The other product from Superdrug's own range is actually new. It's a new product that it brought out. Um, again, the Naturally Radiant Glow um, Calming Overnight Mask, again, with the prebiotic complex. It says, with the skin's natural microbiome balancing prebiotic complex soothes and nourishes. So I do believe if you do have sensitive skin, this will really help calm you down. Um, also, if you wear really heavy makeup and you're cleansing, this one's great as well. If you've exfoliated, I would say this is quite good. I still need to use this one, but from what I've heard, it seems great. So it says, apply a thin layer of night mask all over your clean, dry face before you go to bed and you actually have to wash it off in the morning. I cleanse every morning anyway, so um, that would be fine. And it does say to use in conjunction with the other products from this range. Now, as a little bit of an extra, I've been struggling a little bit with texture and blemishes and stuff on my forehead. Um, not quite sure what from, but never mind. Anyway, I used this once. This is the salicylic acid CISA booster um, from Refine. I'm sure I think that's the brand. It's 2% salicylic acid and CISA. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, improves skin clarity and texture. I used this once, once, and I saw really great results. So it's, there we go. Just comes in this little pipette, and you only need a few drops. Um, apply a few drops focusing on blemished areas used once a day. So don't use this morning and night, use it once a day, or I think I'll be using it every other day to start interpreting it into my routine. Um, I don't want to start using it loads of products at once or else my skin will not like that. <laughs> if I start just gradually um, including it, then I think I really like this product. This is another product that I've um, already had. Um, as you can see, I've half used it. This is actually from uh, Superdrug as well, um, their own brand, and it's the Tan Boosting Facial Serum. This, for summer, absolutely great because I do have the um, SPF from Superdrug as well. Factor 30, 
moisturising sun lotion, advanced UVA and UVB protection, also water resistant. Um, so obviously coming up to summer now, you should be wearing the SPF anyway, um, but with wearing SPF your face might be a little bit more pale. So this just goes great. I use this maybe twice a week. So what you're supposed to do with this is you're supposed to put on some moisturiser onto your hands, apply a few drops into your moisturiser and then apply. Give it about eight hours for it to develop. So I recommend putting it on at night time, so then in the morning, you've got that nice glow. I can definitely tell in the morning once I put it on that night, it just gives such a natural glow. You can, not too much, um, but it's really lovely. Definitely um, apply it in with your moisturizer or else it can be a little bit dry in. If you do have severely dry skin, probably wouldn't recommend this, but if your skin's okay with it, this is, I love it. This is a little bit random. I've had it for a while, um, but it's a facial massager. Um, I know a lot of facial massagers things have been quite a trend, especially the gua sha stones, um, all to do with lymphatic drainage. Actually really been loving this. I can tell when I don't use it compared to when I do. Mm. That's all of the products. Um, I'm now going to use them. My face is already pretty clean from having the bath, but I will whiz over with the cleanser and yeah. I'm just tying my hair up dead loosely because obviously it's still a bit damp, so I don't want it to completely lose all the curls because the curls don't really hold that well. Obviously, because I've got no makeup on, I didn't wear makeup today, so I'm going straight in with this cleanser. Um, I only use the micellar water if I've got makeup on. Um, Otherwise, I'd just use this cleanser. I use about that much. It's got like a pearly sort of sheen to it. Obviously, you need water. So it's recommended to cleanse your skin. So massage it in for about 60 seconds. Obviously, this is just a rule of thumb. If you do have um, really sensitive skin, especially touch sensitive, and your skin can't handle being moisturized for that long, Obviously don't do that, but um, for normal skins, cleansing for 60 seconds is good. I like to remove my cleanser with a sponge. Reason being, if you're just splashing your face, I feel like it doesn't actually get the dirt off as like compared to when I'm wiping it off, it gets picked up by the sponge. So really important to pat dry your skin. Don't just, don't do that with the towel. Just gently pat dry your skin. And obviously you can see like where my skin is more sensitive um, and it goes red quite quickly. I mean, I did use cold water. Probably had an impact on that. Look at my nose. <sighs> Tragic. Now I'm a little bit spoiled for choice of which product to use. Cause I do want to apply some of the um, tannin serum on my skin as well. What? Decisions, decisions. Oh my god, I'm so indecisive, it's unreal. I don't know whether I'll be able to use the tannin serum with this because this is a mask compared to this, which is the moisturizer to help it go in. But obviously, I don't want to bombard my skin with a ton of different products, different ingredients that just won't go well. My skin's gone down right now. So, I can't really use a salicylic acid serum if I'm using the um, tannin serum because the tan serum is a little bit more drying. I don't want to dry out my skin. So I'm going to try and figure out what's going to work best. Because I haven't tanned this week, I'm going to use the tanning serum and the moisturizer. Um, but I'm definitely going to use that sleep mask as well. So follow me on Instagram, um, my beauty account, which is Tonally X Beauty. If I'm clever enough, I will be able to put it on the screen somewhere. Um, and I'll be reviewing it on my stories or maybe even a post. But what I like to do is just pay for about that much. Now, I don't actually do it the way that they say, but I just warm that product, ow. <laughs> I just warm that product up. Just box press that in. Don't forget your neck as well. I tend to only ever put so much on my hands to do my face, then I have to go back in and do my neck. Your neck is like one of the first signs of aging. Your neck and your hands as well. 
and then what I do, this is where I don't do it correctly. So you're supposed to mix it in with your moisturizer so it's not too dry in. But what I do is I put a thin layer of moisturizer on, then I put the tan on and then I put the moisturizer over the top. So it's like sandwiched in. So it's not on completely raw cleansed skin. Um, it's got that moisture barrier. So it hopefully we're all good. I've done it this way before. So, and my skin's been absolutely fine with it. So, but again, if you have sensitive skin or anything like that, or dry skin, would avoid doing this or avoid using the product altogether. A few drops. And then I'll put some on my neck as well. Obviously, I wear my hair tied up for work, so I have to make sure I'm going like right behind around my neck and down. Just make sure that's all covered. Don't forget to wash your hands. If you've put that tan onto your hands, wash your hands because you will wake up with brown hands. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back in with this moisturiser and just apply like a generous layer over the top. And that is pretty much it. Um, I mean, my skin looks quite red on my phone, but when I look into the mirror, it doesn't actually look red. It just looks normal. I like to put tan on the night before, so in the morning, like I said, it's already um, developed. So then when I'm putting my makeup on in the morning, it's not that much. Like usually I'd be putting all my cream bronzer on and really trying to bronze up my face. Um, but. I don't have to because all nice and glowy already and like i said that moisturizer gives you that nice glow as well probably tomorrow i'll use the sleep mask um just to like i said that tanning serum is a little bit more drying so by putting the sleep mask on tomorrow that should help soothe my skin again i'm just gonna take my hair out so i'm gonna show you my skin in a better lighting in a second and then what I'll do is I'll probably update you guys um, either on my Instagram or I'll post another video. Um, I'll tell you if I like the products, dislike the products. So far, so good. I'm really liking them. Um, everything I really like, but I'll tell you like how my skin's reacted to them. Um, is it something I'd repurchase? All of that good stuff. So yeah. Oh my god stop the light in here gorgeous am i blind a little bit i'm gonna go clear my eyes watering um but yeah that's my skin um has gone a little bit frizzy um i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments or give it a like if you do want to see some updates um if you've used the products before let me know um how like your experience was with it and yes thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon bye